Back to ABC 24 this week. Now let's talk about the uh, U.S. Senate race for the state of Tennessee that some were hoping, probably Democrats more than Republicans, was going to be a little tighter uh, than it appears now because the effort um, on behalf of Democratic candidate Gloria Johnson has been subpar at best. Otis, I was looking at her schedule on her own website. She only had two appearances this past week. She's got... Well, Memphis fundraiser next week on Tuesday, nothing for three days. Then she's got a Hawkins County Democratic Party meeting. Uh, she's basically got events two or three days a week, and that's it between now and the election. And, of course, early voting starts when? The 16th, 16th. of October? So mm -hmm. I don't know. I she's, just a, think. she's a stealth candidate here, uh, and I think it's clear now she has no chance here. Um, the Democratic National Committee is not putting much money into this. They have other major uh, races for the Senate that they are focusing on, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, Michigan. Uh, they are focused on those, defending uh, their seats and trying to go after other seats. Florida is another example. They are not, I don't think they are paying attention to this at all because they think this is a loser. Yet Marsha Blackburn has money to burn, and so she's burning it uh, on local TV stations, thankfully. Let's show uh, the ad that she uh, released uh, just this past week. The Tennessee General Assembly was considering implementing a state income tax. We ended up facing a Republican governor proposing a state income tax. People started organizing, and the leader in that effort was Marsha Blackburn. Marsha Blackburn was the one who stopped the income tax. A voice of reason to stand up to the governor and say, we don't need a state income tax. When she believes in something, she's going to fight for that with everything she has. I'm Marsha Blackburn, and I approve this message. Now, she's done attack ads on opponents before, but she doesn't feel like she needs to this time around, does she? But you have problems with this ad. <laughs> the problem I have with this ad, and I'll be very brief, is that she's rewriting history here. Mm. Because when that actually happened, people stormed the state capitol. Mm -hmm. And it was almost a mini January 6th there. They were breaking windows, and she was the one that instigated it because she called a conservative radio station and said, we need the troops, we need the troops. And they showed up and, and, and basically broke into the capitol to stop the state income tax from happening. So that's not uh, a plus in, in my mind at all that she would be, and then, then vilifying uh, a Republican government Governor Don Sunquist in that ad. I, I, I'm just not impressed with that ad at all. Mm. Gloria Johnson, however, he does have a 15-second spot that is getting very limited play. It was finished two months ago, but in the interest of fairness, uh, we'll show it here. Who will stand tall against extremists that want to ban all abortions? Who will stand tall against corrupt politicians that let greedy corporations gouge us on prescription drug costs? Gloria Johnson will stand tall for, for us, us all. all. All right, Twan. I thought it was a good ad. I really did, but she has little money. You got to play it. And you can't, and if you don't have <laughs> play money it. to play it. People got to see it. That's right. <laughs> you can't, you, you can't influence <laughs> anything. <laughs> and now, as far as Marsha, quickly, I just want to say, I think it's kind of sad that you have to go back 20 years to talk about something you've done and you've More been in, that. yeah, <laughs> 20 or 30 years to go back and, then just and talk about too. something you've done and you've been in the Senate this long. I. What has she done for you lately? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the last contest with uh, Phil Bredesen was much more heated. Uh, that one got really interesting and nasty both. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's your read on just how lighthearted this particular contest is, has been? Well, I went through uh, Gloria Johnson's Facebook page to see is there something behind the scenes. And I'll give her a little grace because of all the flooding in East Tennessee. But the only thing of substance I could find was she was in a, a country singer's music video, which dropped yesterday. <laughs> and so I think that kind of sums up how serious this has been. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, really not much more we can say about it, honestly. Uh, yeah. I hope she's enjoyed her campaigning and touring the state. But uh, yeah. And we're yeah. still seen as a red state. Oh, of course. And, and evidently by the Democrats and the, and the Republicans. And they didn't see the window opening for because we have mobilized enough in Tennessee right. to even generate enthusiasm right. about the presidential race. I'm going to be honest and with you. To your point, very briefly, the, the, the hurricane in East Tennessee has been a devastating yes, thing up is. there. And so I, I don't know to the degree that she's involved in that or trying to help them with that. I haven't seen much from Martha Blackman on that either, but well, I think she, she's... She voted, before they went on their break, she voted n no for the FEMA uh, assistance. Mm -hmm. And they knew the hurricane was coming, and 
I just can't imagine not voting for that, and you know it's coming, and you're closing down shop early so you can get home to your loved ones, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you didn't vote on that. That yeah. didn't make any sense. And if I were Gloria Johnson, I would use I would that too. and the fact that Gloria Johnson's from too. East Tennessee. Yeah, well, she's, she's being uh, crickets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> crickets from Gloria Johnson.